We were living in a very unreal world. Something great was happening here. We, we were volunteers for freedom. It was for something. And now I'm free. And I'm really free. I don't think there was a single African anywhere in this damn world who was not ululating. It was the beginning of a new future for this country. We became one country for the first time. We knew that, you know, the end was coming. I was at home when he died, and he just killed me. You know, he keeps saying that it's in your hands now. It felt very unreal at the time. And there for 10 days, the world was listening to the voice of Nelson Mandela. And thank God, we are all strong again. He had a dream, and he handed the baton on to us. And he said, come on, guys, I've given you away. South Africa must have a future without Nelson Mandela. He showed the way. We've got these 52 million people that are now free, but real freedom comes when that individual comes into their, just their full greatness of why they were born, what they can do in this country. There's no reason that 20 something years, the schools are still not functional. If you're not a hard worker, forget it. You're not ch your chances of making it are, are really very slim. When I'm big, I want to be also Mr. Marshall. I've always worked hard. I've always thought I can always do better. It's also your choice. You fall, you stand up, you go again. Okay. The importance of listening to those voices who can so easily be silenced is probably our only way out of that. If the system of today does not give the people what they want, I will not pack my bags and go. I will document. Inserted in our genes now is the obligation to actually take this forward. Democracy is a daily job. We need to amplify the positive forces in the world. Life does contain bright, brilliant, overwhelming light and deep, deep darkness. And it's how you navigate that and get through that that I think is important.